Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Just dipping our coffee here. Um, we are getting the day started. Well, not really. Um, I thought Bob went to the restroom and he actually went to the woods not to go to the restroom. He went to the woods to get some sticks for the fire. <laughs> Keep it going. <clears throat> a janky fire. I was ripping through Brandon's good wood last night. We had a kind of Ration it. Ration a little bit. I got the, I got the the word last night. I better take it easy. Yeah, I was like, there's no way that I'm going back to the house <laughs> for the third time. Uh -uh. I guess it's used to see Luna, though. I guess I could have. I so. love fires, though. My family, we have one every year at Halloween, which I'm missing today. So I'm getting, making up for it here. Well, we're going to have to pass out candy, then. Get some candy? Come about, well, I don't know. Right now, we can give them pickle slices. Pickle slices? They, they might keep coming back, though. I don't think we have any candy, unless that was the secret. That was cough the... drops. <laughs> cough drops. <laughs> cough drops. Here you go, kiddo. I was going to say socks, but that's too expensive. No, we... For Christmas, I have an aunt that always gave me socks. You know what? The older you get, the more you appreciate that gift, probably. Yeah. Yeah, because now socks and underwear last forever. There is, there is a story... I don't know, it's not inside the NFL, but they follow a football team around through the training camp. And one guy went by the nickname Cooch. He showed what he brought to camp. He brought in new pair of socks for every day. Not a pair of socks for every day, a new pair of socks. Because he said nothing feels better than putting on a brand new pair of socks. You're getting beat by a 400 pound. First thing in the morning. And then he said, it puts me in right, the right frame of mind. And then the next time I put on a brand new pair of socks. You think about it all the time? It feels good. Oh. You don't realize how good a brand new pair of socks are. Because yeah. by the time I put them on, my old socks are very holy. Yeah. They're ripped to shreds. Mine's in the heel all the time. The yeah. heel. Heels ripped. And I wear these, I wear similar socks to you a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. All those white, I only wear white. And I should go to black because... It's all yeah. It's, it's I all don't brown. do whites no, no white no more. It's I used to always do white, but but these had colors on it. You see why they, they they're not the typical gray because mm. these were half price. There's oh, nobody one of the ones with the colors on it. They're trying to get rid of them. I was like, I bought three three things of them. Yeah, three batches of them. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, they um, I have my hiking socks. They're really comfortable. I feel like oh, they 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 feel really good. Like, the ones with individual toes, or no, they're just like the wool or whatever they okay. are, and they're real soft, really even softer than my t-shirts, if you can believe it. Wow. Yeah. The ones I sell on www.thegarbagedisposalstore.com, and I think I can stop just saying www. I think now, yeah, it's 2022. Yeah. You but, can move on. You can save. Yeah. Save a tenth of a second. You know we um. We actually, we actually got hungry a little bit, just a snack. We had a snack of chips and then the chips got the engine going to, mm. to, to, to prep. I, I needed, I needed a sandwich. Yeah. I was like, I, I was not, I didn't even want to eat the chips, but I felt like we hadn't eaten so In long. the peer pressure, I had to have one or two. Yeah. So it's, uh, I was like, we could have, we could have cooked then, but. You do appreciate not having to clean all the dishes and, and, and do all that. It's a lot simpler. Yes. But maybe yeah. maybe if you come camp with me next time, I'll just make sure it's just simple. You know? No, no, no. I was just trying to do fancy cooking. Not fancy, but just different cooking out here for well, you. I wasn't planning on eating it. No. We're getting a lot of ashes today here. Huh. In the drink. Probably, well, probably because... The trees are mourning of, of death. Us, us birding, cremating their fallen friends. No, uh, of the... Of no, the leaves uh, falling. What's his name? Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh, Jerry Lee Lewis. We're in the county. I live in the county that Jerry Lee Lewis lived. Mm -hmm. but he passed away two days ago. I thought he passed away a while back. Sorry, Jerry. Two days ago, October 28th. So probably three months ago from we seen this video. For young people out there, one of the things he was most famous for is marrying his 13-year-old cousin as his third wife. But he was also one of the original wild rock and roll people. 
and he was a pianist. 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 Whoa, <laughs> that's a sketchy line there. Pianoist. I like just this not this not leave let, letters out that. But uh, yeah, well, some there. people know him as just doing the telethon thing. What? Remember the telethon, twenty-four hour telethon, like on the stage. He did do that for Nobody a Nobody knew years. what he was. Then they see it on TV all the time. That's what he started doing. I didn't know his middle name was Lee. You know Jerry Lee Lewis? Mm hmm. On the telethon, his name was Lee. Tell Lee? Tell Lee? Telethon? Tell Lee, yeah. Mm hmm. Is that what you're getting at? The Lee part and the Tell Lee? Well, his name is Jerry. Jerry Lee. Lee Lewis. Lewis. And the guy on the telethon. Telethon. What was his name? Telethon. What was his name? Oh, Jerry Lee Lewis? I don't think his name was Lee. It was different? It was Jerry Lewis? Jerry Lewis. Oh. That's what they called him. You lost me there. That's what they called him on the telethon. Why? I need to know this. Because it's a different person. He wasn't on the telethon? He might have been on the telethon, but he didn't run the telethon. He didn't run it. He must have been on it a whole lot, because I saw him. That was a comedian. I don't know. Mm -hmm. He was popular I drank a lot, people. He I was drank popular a lot. France. Forgive me. But I wonder if anybody ever asked anybody in France if he was really popular there. Maybe he just said that he was popular in France. In France? We can ask, if we could get contact Randy, we could have him see if there ask some people kind of ever heard of Jerry Lewis. Is there some kind of is there more memorials, today? like well, at, yeah. a, at a candlelight visual over there? They could, but I don't I, think they're doing that. I don't remember him marrying his 13-year-old cousin, though. I didn't know anything about it until you said something. I think they're two different people is what I'm saying. That we're talking about? Yeah. I don't even remember Jerry Lewis being married. Jerry Lee Lewis. Married his 13-year-old cousin as his third wife. Yeah. I didn't know anything about it. And I don't think Jerry Lewis was married. They're the same people, aren't they? Well, they could be related. We could Google that. I don't even know. I'm lost now because I just know Jerry Lee Lewis was an actor. Maybe we're on the wrong page. Maybe he was acting like a 13-year-old to marry his 13-year-old cousin. I don't know. I don't think that's. I don't think you can do that anymore in the United States. Marry, marry your 13-year-old cousin. I don't know. I never wanted to get married at 13. You got squirrels over there. First squirrels I've seen. Yeah. Armadillo's gone. We had, we had someone approach us in our camp. I wish you. I, I don't know that even if we took a video of the ground here if you could appreciate all the footprints. It's hard to tell that they're footprints. But we have at least one armadillo terrorizing our camp right now. Not this moment, but I'll put it in I'll put the well I'll put it in while you talk talking about it. Definitely tried to charge us last night. But Brandon realized that it's like a bear, like if you stand your ground. But you did more than stand your ground. You actually charged. I charged, stood my ground then charged. Could have turned around like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> I've true. never got chased by a guy <laughs> with a flashlight and phone. <laughs> a YouTuber that's going to eat me because he's a competitive viewer. I thought for sure he was going to fall chasing. It was probably about midnight chasing this. It was 11.45. 11.45. I'm screaming, Arnie, Arnie, Arnie. I don't know why I called it Arnie because it's Armud, it's Army. But Army, there's Army. no nobody named Army. I don't know what the closest name for Arnie. So I said Arnie. Arnie. That's his name. Arnie. Or her Arnie. name. Whatever it is. Yeah. But we don't like, judge. Hey, Arnie. Come back, Arnie. We don't judge. It could be a But then the people over there probably think we're, we're pretty slow. It, hopefully they didn't wake them up at 11.45 yelling at a... Yeah, they haven't been... Running just, after an arm, named they Arnie. They haven't spoken to us all day. But then again, it is first thing in the morning. We're one of the few people up. Yeah. But we're going to go get more wood here in a second, guys. We're going to get more wood for this to keep this stoked. And uh, we have the... Hopefully we're going to have a special lunch instead of a special dinner. 
So this is the last full day. The last full day and night. It's full day and night. Yeah, because we're leaving. What's the day? Today's, Monday? Today's Halloween, Monday. Yeah. So the first is when we're leaving here. So we're, we're going to leave here by two. It seems like we just got here. Yeah. I was like, man, we only got a whole one day left, like a full day. Can we pay somebody to break down the camp? I don't know. I guess, they might be some people. They do Christmas lights. Maybe people put up and pay somebody put up Christmas lights and take them down. Maybe Steve, the host, can. Uh, yeah, he he stays busy. He says. Yeah, he does look. He doesn't take days off. We know he know we're YouTubers. He's a fellow YouTuber. Help out. He's actually probably watching this video. Could so be. So Steve and Angie. Thank you very much for your hospitality and See, yeah. you talking to us. I'm joking right now because there's a lot of work to break down the camp. Holy smokes, but they were really friendly people. Yeah. Camping, there's a bunch of friendly people so far. Well, they're hosts, and he didn't know what hosts were the whole time. He didn't want to look stupid, I guess. I had to call him out and ask him one thing, what the trail magic person was. Yeah, well, that's if you're not a hiker, but you didn't want to know that you're not a camper. I could either. only go so deep in a conversation not knowing what. So <laughs> I can't one go one. deeper and deeper. So I said, I, I said, he goes, he worked trail magic. He liked it so much, he worked it the whole time instead of a couple days. Trail magic. It's not mushrooms or anything like that you find on a trail. It's stuff you find on a trail, but stuff other campers, uh, hikers, other hikers leave. Not trash. Hopefully not trash. But um, like there's a, somebody put a cooler there, but then they uh, people put water, like water bottles in there or Gatorade bottles or snacks. That's trail magic. I don't know why they call it trail magic. Magically appears, I guess. I guess. But you just leave stuff for people, for other people to find. I heard of it on the El Camino. People put stuff for pilgrims that they can just get water or something. I didn't realize it was on other trails. Like so if you buy an El Camino, a car, they're going to leave That's pilgrims. why you have the open back. Because if it's locked, you can just put it in Flat the Rock. That's Plymouth Rock, not Flat Rock. <laughs> Flat well, Rock. <laughs> Isn't but, that... But they do that with cartoon. Jeeps, with the ducks. You got ducked. Yeah, I... Duck, I, duck, Jeep. What's stupid? Who made that up? I I had co worker Of course, yeah, everybody knows a co-worker that has a Jeep, but they were not involved with the ducks. They did get a duck, and then they were sitting there making fun of the duck and stupid people doing the duck, but yet they sit there and brag no, how they wave. They do the Jeep wave to all the other Jeep owners, and oh. they, they would never not wave. I'm like, isn't that the same thing as a duck? So there's a Jeep wave too? Is it like there's this? There's a Jeep wave. It's, it's probably, like a it's probably, beard, like a probably, Adam Moran wave. They say number one. I he think. doesn't do that, does he? Does he? he? No, he does the two and two. He does this instead of this. The two. Do you know how the uh, queen does this? Seconds. The queen? The queen does that? Uh, that's a, that's that quick? I think it's like, I don't know, it's how happy you are, if you're really happy. That's, look how excited the queen is today, she's going full speed, full happiness speed. I don't know. I, I think the I've queen and the queen. Jerry Lee Lewis is in the same thing now. I know that they're both passed away. Yeah, so I didn't want to joke, I didn't, I didn't want to joke about it, I didn't want to get away from that. No, they're, they're, I already get bad comments. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but I was, I was just saying But like, I also think Jerry Lewis has passed away. Jerry I'm, Lewis. I'm not sure on that one. Jerry Lee Lewis? Yes. Wait, he, I don't, I'm still confused about that. I thought the same thing. Who is on first? <laughs> okay. Not Phillies? I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think. Well, they're, they're tied right now. I got a duck, and I was going back to the duck thing. I got one sitting on my, you ever see that little duck sitting on my uh, little junk shelf? Like, as soon as you walk in the back door, it's straight. It's right there. It's, I found it on the parking lot. I guess somebody knocked it down or didn't see it. You know, that's an idea, though. If you had just something small you could write on, and, like, whatever kind of car you have, just, like, a, this is the, like, I have a Nissan Versa. This is the Nissan Versa duck. Something. Pass it along to somebody else. And you see, can't do a duck. See, you can't do a goose or something. If you find, no, but if you find like extension cord, this is the, the Nissan Versa extension cord. Where you see a fellow Versa driver. Yeah, it's tied to the doorknob. <laughs> yeah, like don't touch my car. But motorcyclist race, my, 
if I see another Z, we wave. Better do this? For a Z? No, no, motorcycles, don't they go? They do something? Well, I, it's, if you're really cool, you just do. Like, eh, I'd say, yeah. You're riding like with your hand <laughs> by your side, you're riding one handed, if you're cool, then you just do it. Yeah. Or, feet by the I used to just do, because I, I drove <laughs> a sport bike, or, and not a sport bike, an Enduro, a street dirt bike, and that was looked at, it wasn't a real motorcycle. Oh, okay. So, to protect myself in case I didn't get a wave, I just looked over and did a, oh, okay. did a, a nod. Because there's a lot of Harley people won't wave a non-Harley person. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be Harley, but a non traditional motorcycle like if it's a Japanese sports bike yeah they, yeah they I was gonna wave. say would a Harley do a freaking Indian yeah Harley, everybody would do an Indian because yeah, I don't think right? you can even tell that quickly you know oh, what I mean okay. but you can tell a sport bike yeah and well the bike you're talking about I always think of European guy with a machine gun on the back of it on the street bike you know what I'm saying well I can see it's like, all black on yeah some some country where there's an uprising I yeah. see them on on Enduros riding around but it's nice and quiet here today we haven't determined what was making the noise last night yeah something was something making falls, a movement up there falls from the trees and makes a loud I think gumballs I don't mind or whatever you call them things yeah well, yeah it could be those man yeah, it's getting me right now. I, I do not know the smoke. All that white in your shirt no. is it's not dangerous. It's this. It's this janky wood we I accumulated. Yeah, here. he just got it. It's his fault. It was the closest. So glad he fessed up. Closest wood to the camp. It's like, yeah, but we're gonna go get some better non-ashy wood, and uh, we're gonna get back to you. But let's uh, let's get out of here and get that done because my this, eyeballs are. I only got two of them. I think this is an ash tree. I only got two of them. It's an ash tree. It is something.
lady. Cook the rest of the way in there. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. Just cover that up like a fajita, like they do in the Mexican restaurants. Bring a hot plate out. They don't cover it up though, do they? I don't even think I need it covered up. It is cooking. That cast iron is. You have the sizzling popcorn. You don't think that's too loud for them, do you? No. That would okay. be, that would be a cool video though. Okay. I'd like to listen to that. We did it on purpose. Okay, guys, we, we decided to eat a brunch, and then we're going to eat a late, late, late lunch uh, for the special lunch. Um, we have sausage, gravy, and biscuits here. Um, I did thicken it up, and I will do a, a quick another shot because the first shot I took was, was thinner, and they're probably going to say, Brandon, you really don't know what you're doing. But I measured like... Tasha, I, I just measure without any, it was very, I was on pins and needles, but I didn't use any kind of measuring device except my hand. It was about right. That's what you do. Just... I like my a little thicker, like peanut butter, but it doesn't last as long. And uh, most people like it just like this. Um, we do have Tennessee Pride in here and Whataburger mixed half and half, but we don't know the taste of it because it's mixed. But those two are the Tennessee Pride. These two are the Whataburgers. Okay. The, you can see the, the difference already. So uh, one of them's like a more reddish brown kind of tan type thing. This is more brown. This is more rich, like the way I'm used to it. Tennessee Pride, I guess it's hot. Is that why? One's hot, so that's going to be... Yeah, wonder how hot. One's not hot. So, I, yeah, I should have got the regular without the hot. It's not going to be exact food review guys so sorry about that but we got biscuits here go ahead and take you a few four four or five biscuits it just says spice and spice extract what for whataburger for, for the the hot one want some more or are you good you want to see if you like it first okay found these rocks here there's notorious b dot o dot b dot and it says youtube on it so probably gonna leave these here on the table very excited about that I know that this is good, so I'm going to have three. You know what? We need to have a sandwich, too, but we can cook some more. Once this is off, we'll cook another, the, right, the other one in here. So, we're, yeah, we'll just cook the other one in here. Okay. And we'll uh, do the surprise food later. Um, but we're going to eat now and uh, enjoy this. So. You think they're done cooking? Well, we're... Um, oh, you want to show them the review of oh, this? No, no, well, no. We're, gonna, we're eating this first, you're yeah. saying? Well, yeah. I was going to let that cook just a little bit. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. it's still hot. I don't want to. I don't want to. <clears throat> oh, almost had a leaf in here. Let's give it a little more air. Thank you. There we go. You're welcome. So I'll do what you're doing. I'm just going to save these two for the sandwiches. So you pick if up I'm doing what you're doing. I gotta do that. Pick them up and eat them open face. Is that what you, I don't. Uh, that's I what don't I do. This. Okay. Yeah, that's what I do. You break it open. Some people put it right on top of the. Then they they uh, they just dig into it like that. Well, thanks for making this again. Oh, well, Brandon's been doing all the cooking except for me burning that one burger. That burger wasn't burnt. It was a little, so, little overcooked. Well, that's it. That's wasn't bad overcooked, but it, it was okay. I think it squeezed. That campfire cooker is okay, but it squeezed the juice out because it was compressed, so it wasn't as juicy. Yeah. I don't think it was your fault. It's a little bit hard to see, like when you're cooking it. Oh, my, I need salt. I didn't put any salt in it this time because mm. it's been um, a whole bunch of just I like that salt on stuff, so he doesn't like a lot of salt. I know I definitely got part of the Tennessee Pride because it's a little spice to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're gonna eat this one and dig into the the review of the the, the brunch. I I don't know that I've ever had Tennessee Prime. 
You never lived there. It have tastes, Tennessee pride. Tastes good. No. I like go Tennessee. I want a lot of money there, but. I got Mississippi pride. It used to be Crystal headquarters. Tennessee? Mm-hmm. So that's why you didn't move there, because it used to be? <clears throat> well, then they got bought out by a big corporation. Oh. And I think that corporation's in Atlanta. Oh. They need to bring back their all-you-can-eat, though. Yeah, they might do it once in a while. They, they brought back their freaking McRib for one last time. Mm -hmm. That's what they said, one until last time. time. Yeah, until next time. I said, they're not tricking me. I'm not even falling for that. If it does good, it's about money. If it does great, they're going to do it again. I oh. would love to do another all-you-can-eat there and just, like, literally hang out there for two or three hours. Where? At, they bring back the crystal all you can Oh, eat. crystals? What they do, do you come visit? When they get you back here. That would definitely get me back somewhere. When I filmed that video, I was so excited when I saw they, they had it. Yeah. Because it was already over. It was just that franchise had it. Oh. But this right here got a little charred. Some people call it burnt, but you call it charred. But um, this, I smelt it when I was getting into to the, get the milk. Oh, something burning. I had to switch to Paula Deen. So this Paula Deen doesn't convection as good. Hope they ain't towing. I was gonna say they come back to tow her car. I don't know. He's just he didn't know he couldn't through. get through there. I, I thought, I thought he that could. Was pretty wide, right? He, yeah. That would okay. be safe. Tow truck was coming through. This is really good. I'd never have sausage called saucy gravy. Sausage, sausage gravy, gravy and biscuits. So sausage. Ah, woo, that is hot. That is hot. Gravy and biscuits. So sausage. Ah, woo, that is hot. That is hot, and I didn't curse because this is YouTube. You see what I did there? I, I see. That it. is hot. Right? Yeah. You want to pick it up? <laughs> I'm good. Trust me. Okay. There we go. It didn't burn me that great, but this is my hand. I burnt. Well, I burnt both of them in half fire, but uh, I think I'm a little more okay. Come on. You know, I, I miss, I know you had flour, and how you see like the fat. Flour and milk. And, and just, just milk, I mean I know you had milk too, but there was nothing else. No, that's easy, it's like flour and milk. But you want to, you don't, you don't want to use turkey. It's so lean, but you want to use something that, that's greasy so the flour soaks up the grease, but you, you brown the sausage first. You want to brown the sausage first, all the way brown three heaping tablespoons of flour. And you want to cook that, you want to get all that grease to soak it up. And once that's all soaked up, then you pour the milk in. And how much milk? The milk is, uh, is, is the sketchy part. You just gotta, <laughs> you gotta have your same douse, like hey, you know, but you, you, if you get a formula going that you know how thick you want it, some people want it a little thick, some people don't. This right here to me, most people kind of like it this, maybe barely a little thicker, but I like mine pretty thick. So I would put another scoop of So how much milk? Would like you say a cup or like? About a cup, yeah. About a cup of milk. Now just so Cup, it, cup and a half. I understand this now. You want pork or beef because it has thicker grease, it has more grease. You grease. want something greasier. But what about the milk? Is it whole skim or yeah. does, that doesn't do? It milk. don't matter. I, I'm used to blue milk, like 2% my whole life, but Tasha right. likes the red, the white milk. I mean the red top for the whole milk, I guess. Okay. I just used to 2%, it doesn't matter to me, I don't care. Okay. But uh, let's go. So I don't know what, I don't know what we, which one we ate, but that, that tasted great. So at least both of them together taste great. Both of them mixed, okay, you got a little spice. This one is Tennessee, is, is real spicy. I'm gonna go with the Whataburger last. Okay. Because do. I don't know anything about the Whataburger. I just found it at Walmart. That's good, I like this. 
I mean, how it's one of my favorite things to eat in life is sausage biscuit. It's a good, a good amount of heat. I could have cooked a little more, maybe. What do you think? It tastes all right to me, um, but it's right now. It's on, it's on my tongue. I feel the spice, mm -hmm. but it's flavorful. It's not. I mean, it shouldn't. When it says hot, it shouldn't scare you away like it's gonna burn you to death. But no, they should name this spicy. Mm-hmm. It's good. I'm a fan of tasting what I'm eating, except on challenges, but, but what I'm eating. And it's still, I still get a little burn, not a harsh burn, but you can taste the flavor and you can taste the heat. Mm -hmm. We really like it. And the char of the biscuit. So this isn't as hot as that chicken you had? That five minute hot chicken? No, no, it's mm -hmm. probably a little bit <laughs> less, a little bit less spicy. And you get to drink with this. You get to drink with this. That guy would probably make a lot of money just selling milk right there. Yeah. A gallon of milk comes with the price that you pay to do it, but you got to drink it later. He gives you a gallon of milk? Yeah, afterwards. That yeah. is awesome. I love that. I didn't it's help. I don't know, but at least it's like pretending to. Yeah. By no, no means necessary. No, by no means. You used a bathroom that's attached to that storefront gas station bathroom. Because apparently people go to that bathroom and like have surgery in there. But how rude is that? So don't go in my business, but go in that business over They don't there? have one. Oh. I don't think he has one. Okay. I thought you know, he was telling you to use somebody else's bathroom. No, know. he says don't. He's telling people because they got, they got police called on them a lot of times because people go in there and decorate Morning. decorate the whole bathroom it's bad there's trash cans outside with ice in it yeah he puts ice in the trash cans outside with water and ice and, and towels <laughs> it's bad you wouldn't believe tyler garrick knows he was there he says, i don't appreciate people do not appreciate how much you guys go through after these hot challenges that's the worst hot challenge i've ever did the aftermath aftermath bad so this the last hot chicken in and S and J. No, no, the last oh. the last hot chicken contest we had in Tennessee. Oh. That was Hattie B's. That, that right, but that one is a lot less spicy than Yeah. That's just nothing. Well that the second contest was pretty spicy. That was nothing. Wow. That was like nothing. That was like this compared to a hot challenge. Ooh. Not even joking. But uh we're gonna try the water burger. I'm water. I'm dying to try this. Water's not the best palate cleanser but yeah do you mind do you mind this is the water burger i've been hearing about i'm already happy got a bump it doesn't do it justice though to not have spice to see yeah exactly to me i like the flavor better than this but i miss the spice yeah. I want the spice. It's juicier. A little bit juicier and less greasy tasting maybe. The the the, the taste is good, but the spice in the other one, it kind of evens out. Mm-hmm. I would eat either one in a second again. There's no, this is definitely thumbs up. That's good. Same price. I don't, I don't know exactly what the price was, but when I looked, I knew it was the same price. You said this was Walmart for this? Walmart, right next to the other ones. But it was a fluke. I wasn't even looking for that. I was looking for the red. I don't know what brand that is, but the red. It's a red and orange pack. The red, spicy, but it's a certain brand that I usually use. But this Tennessee product actually worked out pretty good in Whataburger. Enough of grease, enough grease. So, okay. there's your favorite part. Oh, look at that, it's crispy no, too. I it is, but not, I can't take that grease. Like, I would. You can't? Okay. You can, um, you could have did this. Okay. Well, probably gonna snack a little bit more on that and then try to plan our day out. Really, no, not too no, much no. going on. Not too much going on, but I'm um, eating right now. Uh, 
Gora took a shower earlier, so we are refreshed to do whatever we figure out doing. I can't count Grand shower. It feels good. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not, it's not like a bad shower, but it's above average, I would think, for that type of shower in a campground, but it feels so good. Yeah, it's like if you ate in a while, if you eat anything, it's pretty much good because you're starving to death. No, I mean the shower. I'm talking, you're talking about the food still. No, I'm saying it's like that. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, oh, okay. like, yeah you're right. Yep. It's not the best shower in the world, but if you don't got one in a while, it's, it is. I got Chinese food when I was in, in France. It was a Chinese takeaway. Okay. And we packed the room with Noah and Beth. And I was saying, this is the best Chinese food I ever had in my whole life. Because we had walked oh. forever. And then I realized, like, yeah, that was... Because they're looking at me like, this is, like, nothing. But it tasted so good. Oh, well, it's so like, exhausted from walking nonstop. It's like campfire food is the best, but I think it just takes longer. You appreciate it more, I think. Mm -hmm. You appreciate it more is what it is. Well, it is a lot more of a production than just going to your fridge and... But the cast iron skillet chicken, cast iron skillet's the way to go. She cooks chicken out here in that Dutch oven. Best chicken I've ever had. Yeah? Yep. She cooks good anyway, but that cast iron skillet made it even better. And she cooked it at home in a cast iron skillet now, too. That big silver top pan, that's the big one like this, but that, that wide. She cooked in it really good. That started, we have some cast iron now, and she does for some things. Um, it's hard. I'm, I now know not to wash them. Yeah. But it's hard. Cause you, like, I look at that and go, oh my gosh, I gotta get that out of there. Well, if Head to Tell Barbecue and Cooking on YouTube watches this video, which I'm part, pretty sure you will, or if anybody else, please comment if you can wash these with soap now. If you use the vegetable oil afterwards, just to coat it with vegetable oil, because that's what I do. If you don't, it'll rust. But, John said they don't use lye in soap. That's why they said not to do that back in the day. Right, you but just, told me you just saw something now. brand new, one of the campfire cookers that brand new that says don't use soap. So I don't know. I know John wouldn't lie to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what day he does lie on, but it might have been that day. <laughs> no, but I don't. I don't know. Can you can you wash them? If you do, can you just? Because I just do my vegetable oil and it works perfectly. It don't rust. But uh, what it does with chicken, though, it keeps the heat so it doesn't bog the oil down so it sogs the crust. So the crust is so mm. crispy because it's still that way. Right. But it's like one of them stoves that if you get it too hot, it's going to be too hot. It's like if you get it too hot, it's, it, it's not going to cool down for a long time. Mm -hmm. So, But if you overcrowd a regular pan, then it's going to cool down. But that won't. Okay. Well, enough uh, fun facts. But we're gonna get to eating this, and uh, I think I'm gonna make some more biscuits. So, we'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys. I was not expecting. I, I rarely ever eat gravy. Yeah. I'm glad I got that on camera. He still is talking about my good gravy, but uh, he is stoking the fire. I'm glad he's here. He is professional fire stoker. Uh, we're just gonna sit down in these chairs, the ones you saw probably 50 times already. Uh, we're gonna chill out a minute, let this digest, and then we gotta get into some strenuous sports. Might be running, might be hiking. I don't know. You'll have to see. It's probably not too strenuous though. I'm just gonna tell you now. Spoiler. Spoiler. Okay, we are here at Ground Zero. Um, horseshoe time, folks. Horseshoes. Um, we have a pole there. And 40 feet down, we have a pole there. The poles are 15 inches high. I think he said 12 to 15 inches high is the the, what Google said so Google knows everything and that's what we're going off of so each one's 15 out the ground and a 40 foot apart what's easier than that let's go kick some butt I need to get some revenge from Scrabble 
I come over here, change my batteries, and he's already getting practice shots. He's already warming up. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Right there. I'm Atlas. Randy Santel. <laughs> okay. He might not like you using his name in this when you see how you play. <laughs> okay, go ahead and throw. I'm, I'm getting you. Wow. Throw both. Huh? A boat? A boat? I think is it one? No, Maybe it's back one. And forth. Okay. You seen you play horses before? It's been a long time. I used to drink too. <laughs> you were drinking while you were playing. <laughs> oh, these gumballs are gonna mess me up. And these leaves. Too many vowels on yep, the horse. Too many vowels on the Look, scrabble. Got, they gave me a U. Oh, he messed me up. Okay. They, all they gave me was vowels to throw. Yeah. <laughs> In. There's an in on mine. Oh. Oh, he's letting me win. Too strong. Too strong with it. So she said. <laughs> okay, do you get a point since it's like that or does it have to touch? Okay, so. You get a one point? Yeah. So you, you take this, and that's within... Yeah, I heard about that. Then that's one point. Okay. It's all coming back to me now. Oh, so I should have been thrown closer to that to get points. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that what that stakes for? Yeah. Do this. Here, go ahead. You're pretty confident when it gets close to that stake. I am. I got one again. So okay. two, two up. I think he is making up rules while he goes. Now, if we were again. Okay. The score is what is it now? Eight five. Eight, five. He's he's winning. But there's no winner yet till the end, she said. It. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> At least they heard the noise. They heard the noise. Yeah. Guys, if you get a ringer and then the other team that's going to lose gets a ringer he says you get six points he takes my three points and gets three points i think you deduct it and it cancels it out at zero you let me know in comments is it your turn still i did i tried your oh. technique and i wish i had it back okay your spinner oh yeah oh Whoa, the bird took that. The wind. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh. Eight five. I gotta switch up the technique. Oh wow. Oh 
Oh, wow. Oh! Actually, they're gonna call police on us. On me. Oh! Wow. Oh! Put that battle, mad battle rock in here. All right, this isn't a ringer. We're changing styles again. I'll cut it out if it is. Oh! Somebody, somebody's never had a Scrabble and Bingo, but he's even madder now because I've never done this. I've never got two. This called horseshoes. This called Bingo. I thought I thought this had to be touching the pole. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't have to touch yep, the pole. Yeah, it sure does. But uh, to get a hundred points, <laughs> yeah. So I just got six points. That should be like, do you get two? I think you should get more points than just three apiece. Okay, we are all done. I'm cooling down with coffee. It was that hot throwing horseshoes. You just stole my line. <laughs> he just there. stole my line. I was actually gonna say that. <laughs> oh, you don't understand? Cause that's how hot I was. Okay. Uh, it was a close game, but I won the manly game. With manly a game. Ring, with a ringer. Yeah. With how many ringers? Four. Mm. Two at one time. I, I've never had that before. That's kind of like a Scrabble bingo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a good game, though. He was pretty much winning the whole game. No, we were neck and well, neck. Maybe I was ahead, but it was like one point ahead. A couple points. It but. was It was a close, long, arduous game. Yeah. We are definitely better competitive eaters than we are horseshoe throwers. <laughs> yes. Rarely does anyone get 10,000 steps in a game of horseshoes, but we did. Yep, it was like a t-ball game. If you ever played t-ball, if you ever watched t-ball, that's, that's a long, they made special rules that it couldn't take so long. That's why they do t-ball needs to gear up with Monopoly to yes. figure out how to do the times. So. But other than that, guys, I'm drinking my coffee, he's drinking his water. We're just going to chillax. Uh, we, I'm still feeling a little bit, I got a little of the sausage gravy sweated out, but it's going to be a late, a late supper unless Bob is hungry then. No, I'm good Earlier. for a little bit. Okay. Still a, uh, what they call it, a, it's not overcast anymore, really, kind of. 20% overcast, 25, a little cloudy. I never heard somebody say 25% overcast. No. Yeah. It's like that or not. I, I've heard of a 100% chance of zero overcast. Yes, 100% of zero rain. But uh, it's a nice breeze. The leaves are just snowing. It's just like nonstop over here. The leaves just coming out. I would get a video, but I've already tried before. You will not see that, So she said. Uh, smoke's coming your way now. Yep, change the right. We gotta change direction, so we'll talk uh, to you later. It's impossible for me to get have any kind of cell signal and smoke not. They face. might have missed it's it. It's one, one or the other. If they didn't catch yesterday's video, why he doesn't know until I, he never heard of what I said. But why does smoke follow somebody around? They only follows that one person around all the time. Why does it do that? If you know the myth or whatever. In comments, please. It is very much a myth because it's not following me around. But it's uh, just comment oh, below. But the um, if you look in the descriptions, you'll see all the videos from this trip, even the two pizza challenges. One pizza challenge we already did, one we didn't do yet that will be 
after this one. I think after this one and then the last one. Well, I don't know how I'm going to do that because we're going to be uh, packing up. So that should be before we ate. I guess it's going to it's going to be on the vlog. I don't know. And then the, the very last one will be the next pizza probably. Or you know what? We might switch it up because we want two pizzas back to back. So you'll probably. see. Probably. like to have a buffer between. Yeah. You'll see it later. Bigger. You'll just, just keep watching. Keep watching. Okay, it's time to start cooking. Um, the sun is going down over there, so I might be swapping this around later. But for right now, um, I have onions already cut up for what I'm doing. I think I told you guys yesterday, so you, you still know. Um, I have some colorful, colorful um, bell peppers, but I'm pretty sure I don't need all these colorful ones. I'm probably only, only gonna need this one. So I'm gonna just use that. Uh, there's some other stuff I can get out later, but I have to wait on that or I'll give it away. Uh, I did tell him already that I'm doing cabbage and macaroni. It's called macaroni because I stuck a feather in it and called it macaroni. Yes, um, he found this feather on the ground. I'm not sure if there's a bald head eagle feather. And I'm not even sure why they call them bald head eagles because they got hair on their head. But the first thing I do is I take the cabbage. I leave all the leaves on the cabbage. Get them, keep them all on there. Um, you do not want to take any off because the outside edges are going to burn anyway. So you're going to peel it, peel it back anyway. So you're going to use that to save the inner leaves. But it's going to get messy here, folks. It's going to get messy. That's what she said. Here we go. Right now I'm doing this. And right on time, Bob got the knife and Tasha's right here. Okay. You saw the look on his face. He was really worried. He was really worried. I was worried for Tasha. Yep. She wasn't here to worry. <laughs> you do that. Do that. And Tasha's not here, so I'm gonna show you what I like to do with the core. Okay. okay. She does not like me doing that. It's peppery. It tastes good, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to holler out a little bit. Then, I'm going to piece these back one here is to burn the char defense and this is washed so I'm gonna use this okay I use but I use this people say this is not butter people say it's like plastic I don't know what they call that for but this is cheap guys this is cheap it does the job But you want to fill the cavity right there and the rest of it, you do this. You got to get messy with it, okay? And all this butter just kind of falls off anyway, so it's not all going to be consumed with the fake butter. It might taste better if you use the expensive butter, Lando Lake or something like that, but that's just not my thing. And 
then what you do is sprinkle some seasoning salt, salt and pepper, whatever you want to put on there, okay? I don't care what you put on there, you gotta eat it. Put pineapples on it. People put it on pizza, you can, I guess you can put it on here, okay? And I'm probably gonna use almost all this rest of it up. So I can go ahead and get butter all over it. This is going to be on the fire for about three to two hours. No, it's not. I just wanted to say that. Probably about an hour to 45 minutes. I'm about to change. I'm going to use this as my wash rag, well, my rag. I don't I'll probably use all them paper towels up if I do that. But that's all you do. and. You're gonna rake the coals and put this in the coals of the fire. And you gotta see this is the line. So you wanna do one more at least right there. Okay, there you go, let's put it in the fire. And all you're all you gonna do, guys, you're not gonna wanna put it right into the fire. These coals, you wanna get a bed of, of coals going for a while before you start. And there you go. Set it and forget it. And you're gonna wanna turn it here and there too. So I'll put a little bit all the way around. Yes, it's hot. It's hot. We'll be back, we'll be back. That's just gonna be for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna start chopping in a second. Okay, before I start cooking, um, I'd probably have to tell him, he might know, but we're having a Philly cheesesteak tonight. What? Philly, Philly cheesesteak. Very nice. <laughs> it, might, I told, it might be a slap in the face for Philadelphians because nope. it's not made in Phil, Philadelphia. It's made in Mississippi right now, and I'm, I don't want to butcher it up, so I did ask him about a week ago what kind of cheeses. I knew it was like five different cheeses. So I got all five cheeses, and he could pick which one, so we're going to put in this tonight. There we go. And the breads. We got a big hoagie roll, and then we got the steak hot dog looking rolls. You want the big, big roll? The big? Probably big roll. Okay. Okay. Very nice. I'll save my grape, my good stuff for this, my good wine. Crap. 
Let me see. Before, okay, now before we get started, I think he might have saw the bags, but I do have pepperoni. You have pepperoni? I have pepperoni. <laughs> yes. So he does I like his cheese stacks with pepperoni. So. I just, well, I just did this while I'm wearing his shirt as well. So. Yeah, Pudges. He did his video. Please check his video out at Pudges. He actually, that's where I, I knew he wanted pepperoni. So I do watch his videos and all the ads. That's too funny. Thank you, uh, the bronze. The bronze. The bronze. Is that the one? Yes. The. the bronze. Thank you very much for watching all his videos and the ads because you know it helps. And please, everybody else, that's what you do. You watch the ads to help us out. Help us do more stuff like this. Okay, now I'm gonna shut up. Okay, here is the marinated prime rib I chopped up, I marinated like two, three, four days ago now. Look at that. Got, and I put some mustard, ground mustard seed in there. This is going to be maybe too hot. I got to stir down really quick. There you go, you throw that away. Oh. Okay. I can't chop I can't chop it up like they do at the place, so we're gonna have to just deal with that part of it. You want to play with something or um, I'm gonna put it all in that bowl. The white one? I'm gonna put it all in this right here. More? Hey. All of it? Hey, you don't have to do all of it. Yeah. You got, oops, not that. Left or right? Cool. Um, left. It really don't matter, it's cooked, but whatever you want to put it in. First uh, Philly campfire cheese steak. What kind of cheese goes in there? Like what kind do you put in there? I put 
Just provolone, that's all? Okay. The whole thing probably not? No, I put it I put it in a roll. You put okay. Right here. Put it in there. Well uh will you toast it? Or after you toast it, put it in there? Yeah. Water. Is that hot on that thing still? Water's hot. That water okay, if you pour it in here, like all of it, except it's for coffee or yeah. well, I'll pour it right in there. Okay, let's pour it all in there then. See how, how much it's covered. It's already boiling a little bit. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. Uh, Four. Let's just keep it. Uh, let's just keep it like that. I'll keep stirring it. Sure. Yeah. Swell up. How much you got left? There's plenty. You got enough for coffee? Yeah, there's plenty. Just a little bit. There you go. That'll work. Okay. And. What time do you have? I just want to time these out. Okay. No, we're good. That's enough. That's plenty. Down. Just down here. We're almost done. For now, I'm just gonna leave it on there, and we could open, like, open it up. Maybe if you had gloves. Okay. You want me to pull the little? Um. Yeah. You know what? That bowl probably ain't too hot, so if you take it off, just slap it in that thing. Some of that stuff might not be in, in focus when I was cooking because I had it on manual. Right. 
Whew. I am sweating now. That was a... I bet. Yeah, that was a juggling act. But I this put that impressive. on first, 45 minutes to an hour. I started getting this going, then I had to put it in this pot to, uh, to marry together, and then I had that going. Uh, I did put Velveeta in there because I wanted you to taste it exactly how. Okay. I probably put a little bit too much butter that they usually, fake butter that they usually ask for, but I didn't put the cheese in because I wanted you to taste it actually. Um, all I need to do is do a video of this fine food and uh, get, to, get to talking here. Video. Done. Gotta remember to put that in the file. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for making this spread here, Brandon. Hey, this you are awesome. welcome. This is uh, people was thinking Tasha was coming out to cook, but she had to work her one of her 50 jobs a day. But uh, let's uh, let's get you some of this. Thank I'll you. hold it up and uh, I can tilt it up a little bit for you. And um, as you saw, I saw the pudges, uh, both of them, and he uh, he actually uh, had pepperoni in there, and he likes pepperoni with it. You know, that metal knife would work better, or no? That metal fork? And uh, you usually chop this up right, like chop this up real fine. It's usually, yeah. Yeah. This is going to be a little oh, different shoot. because uh, I had to chop it up. I had to shave it kind of thin as I could with a knife at home and then marinate it. Um, Thank you. I, I kind of should should have chopped it up a little bit, but uh, the this is charred, not burnt vegetables. Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do on the flat flat grill. This will be your first Philly cheesesteak campfire. Yes. Okay. First first mm -hmm. Philly cheesesteak campfire in Mississippi. Any any state. Or any state. Oh, is that your fork? That you can use that. Okay, I was just gonna get, yeah. get it out a little better. I've never had it with pepperoni, but it's gonna taste a little different since it's on the fire. Uh, nature's love. No, I didn't have any extra uh, nature's pepper in there, so did not drop drop it on the ground there. Okay, one pepperoni and. Anna's loved one that just just, just passed, uh, Ray, um, he actually loved this uh, Cheetos mac and cheese. So every time I have this now, every time I see it, I do think of Ray. I wrote his name on one of it, uh, one of them, and sent it to him with the package that Anna had bought uh, merchandise. And I, I sent one package of these and put Ray's name on it. He said, "This is mine. My name's on it." So I thought that was really cool. Want we cut this with a knife? Um, that or just tear it like you, that knife will work. Then there we go. Thank you. You're welcome. And tonight we're going to be doing s'mores, if all goes planned. Okay, as planned, and maybe a campfire story for you guys. Campfire. Scary since it's Halloween. Is that all we've done or no? You might want to get the outside edges. It's not, it's not about a, a, a 22 and a half pound pizza, is it? No. <laughs> but outside edge might be better, but... I'll take... Well, not that, that one. No, I'll take you that. Like you char? know what I, I just already told I'll you. I'll actually eat those too. But if the inside's not as done, I actually, I'll eat it like crunchy, like an mm. apple. Ooh. That is warm. And I don't know if you want any seasoning on it. I know what you said before, but that's just there just in case you want it. This looks great, Brandon. Wow. Okay. Well, Tasha was here. She would probably do, she'll show me up. She would show me up. But when I get home, she doesn't know because this video's coming out after. Uh, I am actually going to cook her some fajitas uh, that, that Bob really likes. I'm gonna cook her that uh, when she gets off work. 
on Wednesday, a couple of days from now. Okay. Okay. All right. Looks great, Brandon. Thank you. I'll try the. Hey, you are welcome. Mac and cheese first. Okay. What's the taste to you? It's definitely like richer or creamier. That seems like there's more cheese than. Yeah, like I added, but mm -hmm. I, I didn't add. A little thicker. I could probably could have not cooked it on there as long, but I was running around doing stuff, so it might be a little bit more, I wouldn't say dry, I got thicker than, than it's supposed to be. But juggling, it was a juggling act at the end there. I burned off some calories. You did a great job. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're gonna. I mean, it's hard because this isn't on an oven. We're trying to. No, no, use it's not. It's like that. And yeah, that fire. You you can't adjust. Uh, just turn it down. Hey, turn it down. You gotta pull the cast iron off of it. Find the glove, and so you don't burn your hand and, and get the cast iron off the heat. And the cast iron holds heat for a while, so it is uh, something different. But yeah, I'm sure this stuff's still cooking. You know. I could use some more seasoning on this. The I outside can't. usually gets the most of the seasoning. I guess this is the Cheetos flavor they put in here. Mm-hmm. You can definitely taste it. It's not overpowering. I think if you cook it at home, you'll like it more. Because this is kind of hard to cook on, you know, it's a little bit more dry. Mm -hmm. But you might like the jalapeno though. You might like the flaming hot. I'm just not a fan of the taste of it. I wonder if it's just the weight of the orange powder they use on the cheetahs itself. I don't know. Maybe so. They crushed it up and put it in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're going to get to eat. Well, let's, uh, let's try this first. Then we're going to get to eating off camera. You're still, still okay. Good job. Thank you. It's not no, um, what would you say? Gems or, mm. it's not no gems? No, it's a campfire. Mm -hmm. Campfire Clark. It's better than gems. Maybe next time we're gonna get Tasha here to cook, to cook one good meal. We'll have hot dogs, bologna, <laughs> everything just easy peasy, but we'll have Tasha come cook one good meal. Hmm. Okay guys, we'll see you at the campfire with s'mores later on, okay? S'mores time, folks. Uh, we have all different kinds of stuff here, and I'll go over it real quick. Um, gotta have marshmallows. Check. Gotta have some graham crackers. Check. You gotta have Hershey's. Check. Check. But if you're fancy and you're from Pennsylvania and you're the, Pen uh, the Philadelphia Wing Bowl champ, you might want to try something fancy. You got caramel for the, I say caramel, but caramel. We have Biscoff Belgium milk chocolate. And we have the favorite here of mine, Reese's Peanut Butter Bar. So, yes, for all you that donated, I want to appreciate you guys that donated the make this possible so I went fancy and got extra extra stuff but what we're doing is the original first and then we'll get the original first get all fancy with it do you like yours burnt or do you like just golden brown 
I'm a golden brown. Gold, kind of. Golden brown. If I can get a golden brown. I mean, I'll take a burn if, it, if I mess up the golden brown. I go for golden brown. Okay. That's the... Here you go. The optimal. And the big ones. Yeah. These are the big jumbos. Damn, I haven't had marshmallow in forever. Do you, and do you not? Do you don't do like the movies where you try to fling it off and, and get it out and, and slaps it against somebody's face and tears their face apart? I can't say I do that. No. No. Okay. I was just checking. The sugar makes it burn really quick. So you get it going. I get it going and. Trying to come. Oh, 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 whoa, don't do that, guys. Look at that. You don't want to put it uh, like this down there because it'll slide right off. Try to stay away from here, guys, because it is really hot. Okay, <laughs> it's hot. Then you turn it upside down. Don't do that. It just got the top. It just got the top burnt. I'm gonna go down. Oh, it's gonna burn again. Okay, well, there we go. Just do that. Just that. Well, these, these these are golden brown in the nighttime. Okay, at nighttime they look golden brown. I think while it's hot, you're supposed to have this all ready to go. Probably. Yeah. So I might have to do another one. Size there. Yeah, we're going to do another. I'm going to do another. They're not going to be hot and melted. And then I'll show you something. No, I can't because I'm taking those back. I was going to put it in the sandwich makers. I was going to put it in the there sandwich makers. And I, I don't do this at my campsites. I do not do this at my campsites. And the, the chocolate's not melted because it really didn't get a. It's really not going to work right like this. But I got sticky stuff on my shirt, my I, mouth, I think I my hands. One, one more smell. <laughs> It's too messy for a campsite, folks. I just don't like doing it, but but for Bob, it's very, very mm. special. Tastes yeah. good, though, still, it even though good. that chocolate is not melted. Yeah. It's starting to melt right there. Well, if kids come, we can give them marshmallows for trick-or-treating. They come trick-or-treating. Possibly. We haven't got yeah. any kids yet. Possibly we can go down yeah. there and give them a whole bag. It's true. There's a couple kids down here. Okay. But they won't get all my chocolate. Hmm? They won't get all my chocolate though. They get no. the marshmallows. Okay, if we're going to do a campfire story once it gets dark. Is there anything you want to say about that? Or are you good? This is good. Get you something to drink? I got it. Okay. Get back a little bit. Oh, wash my hands. They're sticky. Let's see some. Oh, and a quick tip for all you guys that do these. If you want to put them together after you get it nice and golden brown, Wrap it in aluminum foil, put it on the, on the grate real quick, 
not right over the fire and um, get it heated up it would melt perfectly okay it's gonna be a gooey mess but just take your clothes off and go crazy with it Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day. Let's meet other plans.